Okay, um, just wanted to give you a little update on our bees. Um, we have combined two hives in 90 plus weather. And um, we were told about the newspaper method. I, I think I might have done that method a long time ago. Um, but I was very concerned about putting newspapers in between the two boxes and locking the upper hive up to where they could not get out, but yet they and they could not get ventilation. So I decided to do something a little different. Now, right now, the bees are doing a sonar check because we just let the bees from the camper out. Um, and so that's what all the commotion is about and we don't have any fighting so that means everybody is happy with everybody everybody smells right so there's no issue that way that's good our new bees from the pop-up camper are now doing a what I call a sonar check they're going hey guys GPS GPS this spot so we know where to come home to and they're all doing little swirls out in front of the hive uh, checking out exactly where they live now so that when they do go out and forage they can come home and come to the right home so anyway so I wanted to tell you what we did um, the bottom hive came from a tree and the top hive came from the pop-up camper that you might have saw we just recently took the bees out of. Uh, and what we did is we took, uh, to introduce them because of the heat, we were really worried that due to the heat that they would die from heat exposure if we locked them up with the newspaper method. So instead, we took this screen bottom board which normally would sit like this, giving the bees an exit here because the board would sit here on top of it. And instead, we turned it upside down so that the bees from the top hive could not leave. They were enclosed, but yet they had a lots of ventilation from this screen bottom board. Um, we also took off the uh, the entrance excluder so that there was more ventilation and by having this upside down it gave an exit right here all the way across for the other for the bottom board so the bottom hive had two exits and that gave them um, that gave them more ventilation there was two open um, uh, doors you might say all the way across and then the top ones couldn't get out but they had a screen all the way across so that the air flowed well through the hive so then today after them being locked up for two nights no yeah two nights and two days this morning we came and we turned a normal board upside down locking them predominantly in there was a small crack but that kept them from flying out before it was time. And then we removed the screen bottom board and then we set them right back down on top. And that way they will exit through the normal exit and be able to do their sonar check and come home. Because I was concerned that if they flew out of the top or whatnot, then they wouldn't know where to come home to because I would be putting the top back down so that wouldn't be an exit or an entrance. So we put them back on top and then tomorrow, after they've had a day to figure out where home is, get in love with each other because they all smell the same now and they all smell like the new queen, the queen that's in the bottom then um, we're hoping to then be able to take the frames from the top and put them down into the bottom because we took a few of the frames from the bottom well my 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 camera sort of locked the screen there for a while so i wanted to show you again um a little clip that everybody seems happy Nobody's fighting or dragging people out of the box. So, 
and they're doing that little thing where they stand up and release pheromones that says this is home so everybody seems happy and so we'll just see how it goes with our new hive combo